Hello Aquarius! Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Gilded Tarot Royale. Uh, there's the Plain Gilded Tarot, I believe, and this is um, the next version of it. Uh, some of the cards are a little bit different. Uh, it's by Cyril Marchetti, text by Barbara Moore with an E. There is a website at the bottom, Llewellyn.com. There's also a couple social medias there if you're interested. Uh, I know with Cyril Marchetti anyway, there's usgamesinc.com. I saw that on the, I think that's on the regular box, or it's a different, it's a different um, deck he made, I'm pretty sure, but his stuff is also on usgamesinc.com. Support of Oracle Cards, Spellcasting Oracle Cards by Flavia, Barbara, and Lizbeth. There is the full spelling of each of their names if you're interested. On the back here, there's a couple websites. She Who Is Art sticks out to me a lot. Um, there's a couple other websites. Feel free to check those out if you'd like to. Okay. What do we have? Are we going to start with these? Okay. Cards are... It's one of those days where the cards just... They keep popping out. They just... They're just popping out all over the place. Um, which is not bad, but it's kind of like something needs to be said, so it's going to be said. It's that tip energy. Did I just bend that card? No. Okay, good. Um, so there's two cards I've noticed. There's one face down. Okay. The question is, should I stay or should I go? Um, this whole reading, I feel like, is going to be centered on that because this came out on its side, which is very similar to me. Kind of like, uh, do I want this phase to end? It's kind of like selling a house, but I don't have to. It's kind of like, I'm still going to leave, live in the same area, but I could sell this house. And it's kind of like, if I sell this house and move somewhere else, even like I'm gonna, if I'm going from in town to outside of town, that's a totally different experience. It's a different phase, different way of living. Do I have to do it? No. Do I want to do it? That's the question we're pulling forward. Because I feel like there's something coming forward kind of saying, do you want to change something? Um, do you want to do it? Should you stay or should you go? You are, whatever's going on, it feels like it's been the way it's been for a while. So like if you've lived in the same position, same position, lived in the same house, or at work you're at the same position, you've been there for maybe a long time. Um, for some of you, maybe this is a relationship. Could be a friendship, could be something more romantic, whatever. Maybe it's been around for a long time, but there's challenges here. Whatever the situation is, there are challenges, but the, the thing is, are you ready for a change or do you want to keep going? This seems to be one of those moments where it's kind of like, are we going to double down and make it work? Or are we kind of like, you know what, maybe this is good enough. Maybe this is good enough for whatever it is and it's time to make a change. There does seem to be support around you. This might be the easiest time to make that change. Um, I don't want to make this like romance centered, but there is a version of it that keeps coming through. So I'm going to just kind of give it fair talking, fair talking to, if you will. If it's a romance thing, it could be a friendship too, just to be fair. It could be some type of relationship. Whoever you're dealing with s seems to be in a similar boat that you are. Kind of like, whether we keep it or we let it go, I feel like I'll be fine either way. I also get, though, if you decide to keep this situation, if it's going that way, if you decide to keep it, it's highly recommended for your life to be more enjoyable for you by putting a lot more effort into creating more memories and more more connection, do, doing more things together. If this is a person, be it romance or friendship, and you've decided, you know what, I could let it go, but maybe I'm going to try to, I'm gonna, I want to keep it. Create a situation where you're doing more things together. Getting to know each other more, enjoying more happy times together. Maybe like every Tuesday and Thursday, maybe you're going to have dinner together. Or who knows, maybe it's every Tuesday and Friday, whatever. You know, maybe it's time to make that type of regimen. I know that uh, Aquarius is very respectful to like random things. 
that makes sense. But I feel like Aquarius is also the one kind of like if structure will help and structure will make an outcome happen that I want, I can work with that too. Um, Aquarius is very, like they can mold to a situation. But it's kind of saying if you're going to keep it, whatever this is, it doesn't have to be a relationship. Even if it's a job, your relationship with your job, it's time to like, what do I need to do to make this work for me better? Uh, is it time to work towards a promotion? Is it time to restructure what I'm currently doing? Is is this a job that I feel like is sucking the life out of me? Or is this a job that I feel like is thankless? How do I change it? What Because a career, I know you're smart. So you'll see the options and you'll make those options happen. But they're saying double down on this. If you're going to keep it, if you decide to keep it, do that for yourself. Give yourself more happiness in that sense. Because it's like, if you're going to keep it, make sure it's worth it for you. I feel like if you always, I, I feel like, I feel like you always have an option. Aquarius seems to be that one. But what I'm also getting is kind of like, if you go towards this question that way, if I'm going to keep it, how am I going to make it better? And you look at this and you're like, and you're like, I really, I really don't know. Or I really, or you're going to look at it like I could do this or that, but I really don't want to. Maybe that's an answer in itself. That's for you to decide, obviously. Um, make a decision. Don't default with this. The, the Two of Wands is like your challenge card. And having the confidence, to like, whatever, as long as I choose something, I will have success. But if I default, I will fail. So it's kind of like, yeah, but if I default, maybe I'm going to have the same outcome. Not if you treat it the same way. Like if you default, you're not changing how you feel about it. You're not changing how you relate to it. So it doesn't advance. It just, it's just kind of like, <laughs> how else do you put that? It's just floating in the water. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, if you default, you're going to fail. But if you're like, I'm going to choose to keep it. And if I'm going to keep it, I'm going to make it so that I really enjoy I'm going to make it better. I'm going to put that effort in to make it better, more to your liking, better for you. The other person too, probably, if there's a person there or whatever it is. But by doing that, you are upgrading your energy, and it's great. If you're deciding, I'm not going to keep it, you're going to make movements forward to change the situation, but I don't see Aquarius going, this, is kind, of, this kind of sucks. I'd rather have something else that sucks. So does that suck enough? That sucks enough. Let me go towards that. You're not going to do that. Like, <laughs> you're going to be like, well, this sucks. Let me find something that just sucks differently. You're not going to do that. You're going to be like, I don't like this. So I need to find something that I do like. And you're going to make efforts towards that. So either way, as long as you actively choose, you will have success. Um, it's igniting the passion for your success. Choose to keep it. Choose to let it go. Choose, but choose. Actively choose. Um, it's interesting because I don't think of Aquarius as like just letting things just kind of sit there, but I guess we're all subject to it every now and then. Um, maybe this is a situation where I felt like I had to. I've had jobs like that. I make this amount of money and this is how my current life goes. I feel like I have to do this. There's not a lot of opportunities around here. I feel like I have to stay here. I've had that in my life. And I can also say when I've moved on from that energy, life got better. Um, cause there's always, cause like at the time I had X amount of money, which I make good money again, but I just, I downsized. I'm like, is it worth my happiness? No. So what can I downsize here? Did the downsizing change the job and then got where I wanted in life. That's actually why I'm where I am right now in life. Cause I made those choices at the time. It was a little scary, but I wouldn't be truly happy if I hadn't done it. Um, that is not the star card. This is not the star card, but I'm feeling this for you in the sense of like, the universe is going to meet you halfway. If you look, you'll find an answer. If you find the answer, the universe will help you find ways to make it happen. The universe will meet you halfway. I feel like this is really good. Um, just don't default. Because I see this, and I'm trying to not... I, I don't know why I'm trying to not... This, it's not going to hold here forever, by the way. Your moment will pass. Whatever that means. Life is going to get busy again is what I'm actually getting. Okay, that makes sense. Soon enough, life is going to get busy again. When life gets busy again, it's going to be more difficult to make this decision. 
be it stay or go, it's kind of like once life gets busy again, I'm used to how I do things. And then like, it's not that you can't make the decision later, but it just gets 10 times harder. Why do that to yourself? When that happens, it's like you're, you're more than likely, not for definite, but more than likely going to just ditch the situation and just default. You're just going to default to whatever it is. If that happens, these are upside down. No love, no healing. You're not going to be happy. I feel like for those of you this is hitting with, whatever subject this is about, you're like, well, I know. Um, I don't think I'm telling you anything new with that. If you choose, though, things you can heal and things can go better. Um, you're the one make, this is, you got to activate this card. This was face down. The uh, Queen of Wands was face down. You've got to activate your ideas. I usually think of Aquarius as an active energy, but you might have been putting in a lot of thought to something, but not actually moving forward with it. It's time to move forward with it. And then whatever you want to do, dreams can happen. What does that mean? Um, once you make a choice, I don't see you going halfway with it. I see you seeing it through. Because I see the, um, the King of Pentacles with the Three of Cups. And then I also see like something with dreams here. Like Whatever you want to happen, you're doing it with your flavor. Whatever flavor you want, whatever colors you want, whatever structure you want, that's what you're putting in there. And it's going according to what your dreams are, what you want it to be, what you wish it to be. And you do seem to be bringing in other people. So I feel like this is starting to like, once you bring in other people, a synergy starts and it just builds on itself and becomes stronger. So it's just making the active choice. I feel like I just keep saying making the active choice. Is there anything else I need to say? Is there anything else I have to say for Aquarius? I feel like the next, if you act, if you actively choose, I do feel like it'll last quite a while with the um, Ace of Pentacles. If you don't, um, what is that? The Two of Swords. That's a block. You don't have to stay with the block. You don't have to accept the block. If you don't choose, things just stay where they are, probably for a few years. Take that with a grain of salt. It's a general read. Wherever they are now, it's more than likely if you don't make this choice now, it's going to go, life's going to get busy again and it's going to stay the way it feels right now for a few years. Once you make your decision, you seem to go on autopilot and it just, everything just seems to happen. It just seems to be like making the decision and then you just do what you want to do because you're motivated to do it. So the passion clicks in once you make your decision. Whatever you want, you've made your decision, the passion backs you up. There you go. All right, I think we're there. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.